I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap. Turtle power. Mikey Gets Shell Acne is today's episode. I heard about the episode title before the episode came out and I was already like, oh boy, here we go. This is gonna be one of those filler episodes. It all starts with Michelangelo waking up with bumps all over his head. At first, the turtle thinks it's just the regular type of acne like everyone else gets until they find out that Michelangelo had put what he thought was mutagen on his body because he wanted to be a stronger turtle. He felt like the other turtles didn't take him seriously. Oddly enough, I don't know why they got that concept. We've seen him be Mr. Jokey Jokey all the time, so it's kind of interesting to see that the way the other turtles treat him actually affected him to the point that he tried to make himself better with mutagen. Unfortunately, it wasn't mutagen that he put on himself, it was a retro mutagen test that Donatello had made that was not good and unstable. If Michelangelo kept the shell acne, it was gonna grow bigger and bigger to the point where he blew up. Like, honey, I blew up the kid, but except of growing, actually blowing up, which is what I thought the movie was gonna be originally. I was disappointed for so many reasons. Why am I even talking about Honey, I Blew Up the Kid? I also like that on the retro mutagen canister, it had a Mr. Yuck symbol. I don't know if some of you remember this, but back in the day, they used to have these things called Mr. Yuck. They were these green stickers with a face and I just went bleh. And you would put the stickers on like bleach or chlorine or detergent to remind kids not to drink it. Yes, back in the 80s, that was the problem of the time. Kids going underneath the sink and drinking bleach. We've come so far as a nation. In order to fix this, Donatello needs a centrifuge, or as Michelangelo puts it, a centrifuge, which I think is a book I read from Judy Bloom. Tells of a fourth grade nothing, followed by a centrifuge. Unfortunately, they're not the only ones after the centrifuge. Karai has recruited Dog Pounding Fish Face, that she's still taking over while Shredder is gone, and she's like, I need somebody who will follow up my every command and who is a weakling so that I can boss him around. And of course, immediately they think, Baxter Stockman. I don't know if this was a reference or not, but there's always been this running gag that no one remembers Baxter Stockman's name. One time they called him Dexter, and the specific line was like, we gotta go find Dexter and get him back to the lab. Dexter lab, Dexter's lab. Yeah, I might be stretching for that one, but it felt like a reference to me. Dog Pound and Fish Face find Baxter Stockman, but rather than take him back to Karai, he kind of convinces Dog Pound and Fish Face that, hey, I can actually make a retro mutagen to change you guys back to human, which is what they really want, specifically Dog Pound. He's just like, I'm tired of being this clumsy big dog. Fish face is like, I want to live like a man, love like a man, and he can't really do that with a fish body and mechanical legs. Ain't nothing down there to make the magic happen, unless you're a washing machine or something. They have him go to TCRI to get all the stuff that they need to create more mutagen and more robots for the shredder. They even put a little clamp around his neck to make sure he doesn't get away, and the clamp has mutagen all around it, so if he does anything wrong, he could mutate himself. So yeah, they have a big, huge, like, brace around him. I'm surprised they didn't put a chain on him and called him 12 years a stockman. Now I'm starting to see why they changed him to a white guy in the original cartoon series. Michelangelo suspects that he knows where they're going to be, but again, the other turtles don't pay attention to him, so he runs off on his own and runs into Dog Pound and they get into a huge fight. There's a big vat of mutagen where they fight and Dog Pound accidentally falls inside the mutagen. Now, of course, he's already a mutated dog. He's completely formed into this almost wolf-like creature and he keeps yelling, rah, rah. Michelangelo decides to rename him Razar! What? That's right, Razar is now in the new Turtles universe. He is Dog Pound Evolved. He's like a Pokemon. <laughs> Your Dog Pound has evolved into Razar. And he is free, like he is scary. He looks almost like the Scrollinoids in a way, but just like a dog version of it. But he now likes his new form because he feels like he's a little bit more limber, so it allows him to use his ninja skills a lot more. Eventually the other Turtles find out where they are, come and join and everything, and saves the day. Michelangelo turns back to normal, happy times. But in between all of that, Karai has come face to face with Baxter Stockman with a sword in hand and says, hey, come roll with me. We're about to go get some work done. Bum, bum, brum. I was actually pleasantly surprised by this episode. It had a great character arc from Michelangelo and they introduced some new characters or evolutions of characters, Pokemon style. They kind of fooled me thinking this was going to be a silly episode when there actually was some really good stuff in it. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with Shredder and Karai. Karai seems to be wanting to get her own army going so she can fight Splinter. Shredder's off in Japan getting people for himself or mutants for himself. We don't know yet. So I feel like this is either going to be a thing that comes together nicely or going to be a clash of mother versus daughter situation. Why do they call him a mother? <laughs> well, Shredder is a mother. He's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Shredder. Now I want to hear from you. We'd love to know what you thought of this episode. And speaking of acne, what was your worst part of your puberty if you've had puberty? If you haven't, what are you afraid of? Because there's lots to be afraid of. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy 5000. Chain chomp. Yelp. I don't want to wait for the
this pizza to be over? I want to eat it now. What could it be? Do, 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 do. Now, when you run into people and as adults and they kind of stupid, you can be like, oh, you must have drank bleach when you were a kid. You didn't follow Mr. Yuck's advice. Blah.